Hey there guys, it's Luke Red 4 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the progress that I've done on End Review upon Brickford and also give some tips and just little hacks that you can use to make your city look a little bit more realistic. So number one is let's take a look at Angel View upon Brickford. It's getting there slowly. We've got the uh, Angel View Park. Uh, we've got the school over to the right hand side. We've got the police station. Uh, we've got what's going to be the toy shop. Then we've got a library and ice cream store. And then I think I'm going to make that into a department store. So yeah, my, uh, my room is a little bit messy. There's stuff everywhere just as I'm trying to sort this out. But um, yeah, just to sort of give an overview of the city, what it's like, how it's looking. I think it's a nice little display. Um, I'm planning on extending it right the way across here. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But one thing I did struggle with, one thing that I'm going to give uh, tips on today in this video, is road plates. Now, road plates have always been something that I've de detested. Like, I hate road plates. I don't like the colours that they're doing in. I don't like how you've got to connect them to other base plates via bricks and all that sort of thing. And I don't like these new uh, 2021 road plates that we're getting that are made out of literally uh, smooth tiles and plates. I just don't like the look of them. I don't like the... It just looks too corny to me. Um, and it, I want something flat that I'm going to be able to sort of push these cars across like so. So what I did was I looked about, I tried to figure out what else I could use in terms of other medias. Um, other so, You know, I was thinking, oh, do I paint something? Do I uh, make something? And then I just happened to be looking sort of in um, our cr local craft store and discovered this stuff. So this stuff is just plain black card. Now, what I have had the idea to do is actually put some uh, white lines in the middle just to create a bit more of a road. But for the time being, I'm going to keep it black and just plain black um, for, you know, for ethical reasons. I don't want to go around, you know, painting all these white lines and things like that in. But I might do it in the future if I am um, bored enough to do so. If I feel like it just needs a little bit of a jazz up. But um, yeah, there's a lot of cool ways of doing this. So if I just remove this black piece of card here, um, it's literally like the cheapest thing they can buy. It's literally just this stuff. Just thin black card, nothing crazy, nothing too expensive. Yeah. And the best thing about this is, is that you can buy in like packs of 10, 20. And if you look in the right places, you can usually get this for pretty cheap. So what I did in the city was I simply just put it in the middle, you know, tried to find out, you know, how big the cars and things like that were and, you know, what what size I needed so I can sort of easily move them down there so they don't look too squashed together. And then all I did was I literally just took them underneath these base plates that I've already got down so far. So from a top down view, you can only see I've done this corner and obviously the piece that I've taken out, which is there. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty effective. There's a couple of little things that I need to sort of iron out. Like there's a little small seam there that I need to sort of try and get rid of or try and figure out how to make them. But you could do this in so many different designs. I mean, you could have yellow lines like they do in some places um, in America, or you could do the white lines if you're European or British. And I just thought it looks pretty cool. I've got some awesome photos of the uh, of the city from sort of this low down shot or from like the road angle. I mean, like, say if obviously these two cars aren't crashing, if I put a couple of things down there, I think that looks pretty cool. I really do like that. And once obviously this background area was sorted in this corner here and uh, over in this side, I think this is gonna look really, really cool. But it's just a, a top tip that I thought I'd share along with an update on how the city's looking. I have moved the uh, things in the park a little uh, a little more. I have updated it a little bit. So I've done these um, fences around the park and uh, integrated it around the front side of the park as well. Uh, but I haven't really changed a lot. I'm still trying to work on you know, getting this pub sorted out, um, trying to figure out ways I can build certain things. Um, we've already got a review of that coming out. But yeah, I just thought it's a little, little sort of city update, little slash sort of tips um, in terms of city building and what I've learned throughout the, uh, the process. Another building that is missing from the scene is the uh, gas station. 
So this gas station is one that Jess bought me and I remocked it into, you know, like a little uh, little gas station convenience store type thing. But with one of my brilliant subscribers sending me that set over there, I think it's safe to say that this little tiny one will be going. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put that. It might have to go at this corner of the building. Um, obviously the bank's behind there, hidden away. Um, but yeah, I will try and get some sort of movement on the city and do a proper full in-depth uh, city update so yeah i've still got like a, a proper in-depth look at the yeah the park because i have modified that a little bit and changed a few things um i might end up changing the school as well uh, you guys have probably already seen a video on that as well and yeah, it's just literally updating the city. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give me a like, a share and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. And if you want me to keep doing these sort of small city updates where I can, you know, show you what's happening in uh, Angel View upon Brickford and just things that you suggest. Um, I did have a subscriber, uh, Stop Motion Harris, suggest that maybe one of these little small shops um, that I've got should be some sort of Harry Potter shop or some sort of merchandise shop. So I might end up doing that uh, in the near future. But um, yeah, it's it's going really well, guys. So if you enjoy this type of content, uh, make sure you hit me up and let me know you want me to do more of this type of stuff. And I will see you in the next one.